offers our prayer of the day, first and second lessons, the psalm, the verse, the Holy Gospel, the offertory, and the proper preface. We do all of those things. We rarely use the text for the offertory, but all of those other things we do. There are also hymn paraphrases, um, psalms and canticles amended to accommodate uh, metrical standards, enabling them to be sung as hymns. Um, some of those uh, are the King of Love My Shepherd Is, is a hymn that's a paraphrase of Psalm 23. Um, keep going. You're almost there. Next. There we go. Um, and uh, My Soul Proclaims Your Greatness is a hymn paraphrase of the Magnificat. Um, hymn texts in the early church through the early Reformation were most often God-directed praise. Later on in the 18th century German pietistic movement, hymns came to deal more with feelings and emotions of the individual in their relationship to God. The more tradition-oriented texts with emphasis on the corporate body of the church were more common to orthodoxy compared to pietistic and evangelical emphasis. It's difficult to pare down the history of hymnody in a few short examples, but let's begin with um, uh, a, Latin, a medieval Latin hymn from the 13th century. It won't go again. This text was written by Thomas Aquinas and set to a plain song chant. Uh, the two name Ador, um, Adore Te Devote uh, is down on the corner. As long as it stays up there, let's sing verse one. <laughs> noticing that the text is from Thomas Aquinas. Uh, it was probably written in Latin. Um, it was a Latin text, yeah, that, was, that has been translated into English. Other questions or comments while we're waiting for the slides? 